Nick, that felt like maybe the most emotion we've seen out of you in a game. What what got you cranked up for this one? It's a rivalry game, honestly, you know. Um, we were emotional from the, you know, in one month we all felt the energy from the crowd. You all, you just, you could just tell that we were ready for this game. Was there some, go ahead. Cassidy felt a difference in your practice after you got back from Vegas after the holiday. Did anything happen while you were home to, to kind of turn it back on for you to, to well, support just, yourself there? You know, I just needed that break, um, three days break that, you know, just recharge me. Um, I definitely was more focused when, when we got back. Um, a lot more detail in practice. Uh, try to be a good leader to my teammates, try to be a good leader to the freshmen. I'm um, just trying to be a better overall player. Nick, a lot of times foul trouble seems to kind of take you mentally out of the game. Today mm -hmm. with four fouls, you, you basically did all your damage, or a lot of it, down mm -hmm. the stretch. How did you manage that? How did you manage to sort of stay engaged and, and also be aggressive playing four fouls? You know, just playing smarter. Uh, I was just trying my best to play smarter. Um, you know, I noticed a lot when they were driving, they were just lowering the shoulder on me. So I just tried to get charges on those. Hopefully they didn't call blocks. <laughs> it was a 50-50 chance. Um, you know, just not going. I was, I'll probably say I was as aggressive when I had the four fouls. You know, I was going for as many blocks, you know, which is, which is my fault. I should never let that happen. But, uh, you know, we're just happy that we got this win. And, you know, we're just, we're just going to celebrate it now. I'm nervous for you. Charge calls when you were on the ground, waiting to see what. what they were. Well, I was really nervous. Uh, I was, I was hoping he was going to call a charge, but uh, if he called a block, I don't know what would happen. Nick, you've had bigger stat lines, but given the stakes of this, that it's a rivalry game that you guys desperately needed to win, that it was against a, a really quality opponent and a really good front court. Does this feel like your best game in a Kentucky uniform? Uh, I wouldn't say this is probably my best game. I'd probably say this is the most we've ever. This is most we ever fought as a team. Um, you know, there's a lot more games that, that we're going to play. You know, SEC starts this, this Saturday for us. We're going to play a really good team in Missouri. Um, they got really good big men, really good point guards. Um, just going to prepare for the prepare for those guys in the next, this coming week. Can a win like this really propel you guys into SEC play? I mean, Coach Cal kind of said this is kind of the reward for you guys for how hard you work uh, it's definitely a reward for us, you know, wins are our reward. Um, SEC play, you know, is the best time of the year for us. Um, guys, you know, they were talking about SEC since November. You know, I think everyone's really excited about SEC play. Nick, you, you guys were in pretty dire foul trouble in the front court. You had four, mm -hmm. uh, EJ had four, Nick was, or uh, Nate. Nate was fouled out. Did you, could you sense that the team was sort of hanging on whatever you could give them? And, and you couldn't afford to be out of that game? Uh, I wouldn't say we couldn't afford. You know, we have really good players. You know, Keon, he played really good. Um, he got an offensive rebound at the end of the regulation that basically really went in and out. Um, you know, it was you know, it was just a really good game, man. Everyone fought. Everyone did their role. We came together as one team just to get the W. Nick, I you went down three in overtime. You scored seven straight. Mm -hmm. What was it about that stretch that clicked for you? What was your kind of Honestly, my teammates, they were just being aggressive. Um, Tyrese went on for a floater. He missed it. That was my, I was just thinking about just get this rebound, just put it in. You know, it was just, that could help us win the game. Um, when Tyrese did that, when Tyrese stood out loud to me, I wasn't really just, just trying to put it on the rim, just trying to get it in. It didn't go in, but I just try to give not my fifth down. What was going through your mind? Um, take us through when you first took the, when you guys took the lead in overtime and you had to go on that run. You guys had to go on that run to close out the game. Um, Emmanuel was actually telling me to ask him, you know, to calm down because we started celebrating after we were up two and it was like 15 seconds left. Uh, you know, Quake, he did a really good job bringing us together, you know, stay, stay focused until the last second of the game. Um, but you know, as a team, we just came together, just trying to get stops. Every stop is possible. Ashton, Ashton did a really good job getting steals in the last second of the game. That basically ended the game for us. Nick